and gracing Technics with yours and Sophia's presence. We were very excited to have Sophia today, especially because it's her birthday. So, so first question that every, every for everybody that comes to mind is, what was the intention or motivation behind creating Sophia? So, uh, Sophia is basically a combination, unique combination of uh, uh, art, science, and technology. The idea is to see how these kind of robots, which mm -hmm. are expressive in the human manner, mm -hmm. uh, can be useful and can serve to humanity, to society. Is there really need for robots who can be more human? Like, we can just create machines that can help us with our work, that will be efficient as well. What is the need of a humanoid robot? Yes, so basically the design and the look uh, of a robot really depends on the application uh, and the need uh, of that particular robot. So if we want a robot which is not working in the human environment and which has to serve in a different way, interacting differently with the uh, environment, uh, we don't need human-like robots. Yes. But if robots have to work with uh, us in our environment, there are studies which are showing that uh, how robot can be more engaging, how, how, okay. how, how they can be more supporting to the people, what are the expectation of the people. So there are really many, many application potentials okay. yeah, where we need to have this type of expressive robots. So sir, the debate between AI coming into our life started almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And how do you think Sophia helps in this debate? Or is she helping or is it creating more of a difference between no robots cannot come because they might harm our society or they might take away employment because this is a big factor with robots coming to our lives and unemployment and uh, humans being more dependent on machines. So I think there are two parts of this debate. One is that uh, uh, one is which is inspired by science fiction movies that's what I told. <laughs> And one is based on some facts and figure or some understanding that how, how they are changing the way we are working. So perhaps uh, the debate should be more focused on that uh, how we can make these kind of robots and AI more useful for us instead okay. of stopping them. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's uh, like electricity, it is everywhere so we cannot stop it, it is happening. So we should be trying to find a way to have better harmony with this type of technology. So Sophia is unique because she has a growing conscience that she learns from human, humans and as she said herself, she is a reflection of our actions. Mm -hmm. So sir, if Sophia was under bad influence, how can she differentiate between what's good and what's bad? Because she told herself she doesn't have the human morality. Mm -hmm. So this again comes under the AI debat debate coming into our lives or not. Uh, here you have to understand that uh, Sophia has a kind of uh, duality. She, she is a character, she, she has a personality mm -hmm. and at the same time she is a manifestation of a combination of art, science and technology. If robots are learning, there is a need of mechanism to tell them what is good or bad. So it is up to us as a society yes. uh, how we want to raise your child. So it, it's same with the robot. If they are learning, they are growing, what we are teaching them. And then they will behave in that way. There is a no, there is not a global Bible of uh, ethical or moral uh, dilemma or what should be the best way for behavior. So, so it's a part of problem and burden on society to solve as well as on scientific community. So how much time and effort or how many people work on building a robot like Sophia? Because capturing human conscience is not an easy thing. So how long did it take for an idea of Sophia to build? Yeah, so again, I should be clear that Sophia is not yet human level conscious yes. entity. Uh, it's a growing, uh, it's improving its artificial intelligence. We are far from saying that uh, we have achieved artificial general intelligence where you can say its consciousness is coming. Uh, so in terms of the time frame, it's a evolving things so you can put as many people you want to achieve uh, what you want to achieve mm. but it takes time uh, in terms of development of hardware and it takes multidisciplinary effort it is not only engineering background people as i mentioned but it is uh, people from psychology sociology 
creative arts cultural understanding uh, are all the are the key things uh, to push so i i don't really don't want to confine in a particular number it okay. is depend uh, it is depending on the ambition basically okay. So, sir, last question: How was your experience at Technics, and how do you see engineers from India or IITians in general working towards AI or robotics? Mm. So, for, for the first part, uh, I, I like the audience here. <laughs> It's uh, interesting. Uh, they, they really they are showing their emotions, what they want to <laughs> show and exhibit, and they are not shy audience. <laughs> It's, It's good. <laughs> and uh, then the questions were also interesting the organization i appreciate it then the next part is what's the future or uh, how in india we can do something yes. uh, so that's why i am here basically that uh, how we can create the bigger awareness uh, about this technology mm -hmm. the challenges and the future potential it has and uh, what i suggest that uh, people should start exploring this domain the early stage of the career to to reduce the gap because wherever this type of technology is getting developed uh, we are little behind uh, in that race at the moment mm -hmm. but uh, but we are not uh, behind in terms of our mental uh, capabilities so my personal experience is that uh, even if i want to take some uh, good people from india they they have nice Uh, scores, CV, everything, but uh, the key skill, some part of the key skill is still missing. Okay. So we have to.